everyone. Today I'm with Tom Venemont. I'm sure you've all heard the news. He won the Inu Award for uh, Innovative Teaching. So he's here with me today and I would like to interview him about how he transferred his course of financial modeling and how he won the award. Hello, Tom. Hello, Nabila. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So, as I've just said in the beginning, you've won the award for um, innovative teaching. Mm -hmm. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you did um, that led you win in to win? Sorry, this um, award. Yeah. So uh, we designed media assets. They're very short clips. It's about five minutes per session and we have about 10 sessions in the class and these media assets are there to kind of gamify the uh, experience that the students go through mm, right uh, so you mentioned these videos mm -hmm. um, what type of videos are these oh so two are avatars uh, one is um, representing the lecturer mm -hmm. then there is one avatar that's representing the um, distant organization called the forge it's a more abstract character mm -hmm. and then there's something really exciting which is the cinematography so we actually make like short video clips and the idea is that we do that together with students over time that represent what the students are supposed to learn and what they can do with what they learned mm -hmm. how do students benefit from this type of cinematography okay so there you're asking about what is the educational part about this mm -hmm, right um, all right so the the uh, character which we call the doctor um, is the representative of the lecturer mm -hmm. and there what you have is the uh, this doctor is describing the intended learning outcomes per session we call that the silos uh, session intended learning outcomes. Right, yeah, that's the first time I heard this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of made, made this up myself. So there is course intended learning outcomes, which mm -hmm. typically are um, more abstract, and there's maybe two or three per course. Right, my and, fellow teachers all know course learning outcomes. All <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So what I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going further than this. So we're splitting these course intended learning outcomes mm -hmm. up into uh, session intended learning outcomes. Now this doctor or this character is linking these outcomes with the assessment tasks. Mm -hmm. so that's what we call constructive alignment. And then there's another character from the forge. The forge is more abstract and kind of weaves a storyline next to the class content. Mm -hmm. um, the idea there is that the students um, activate their higher learning processes. And that's done in a way that they get suggestions, they get nudged to thinking about uh, what they can do with this course or what can do it in the industry. Mm -hmm. And then the cinematographic component, um, this is the most exciting part actually. Um, there we want to invite their participation and that is what we call imagery production. That's another kind of learning process where they think out of the box and they also need to represent what they have learned to outsiders. For instance, to, you know, people who study something else or mm -hmm. just to third parties or the society as a whole. Right, yeah, nice. So um, this uh, project was done for financial modeling mm -hmm. and I'm a teacher as and as a teacher, um, I don't teach this course, but I teach other courses. Right. So what advice would you give to other teachers if they want to create something that is similar to what you did? All right. So you're thinking of a template, which mm -hmm. is uh, not that easy to do um, because I'm, of course, in my discipline. You have your discipline, so I right. don't have no idea what you are teaching and what other people are doing. So so we, um, what we try to do here is a bit the same as this cinematography uh -huh. in the class itself. So we, we have a kind of a something that suggests um, what the process is in creating this kind of uh, concept for your class. Right. So uh, what we have here, we have here a representation of the intended learning outcomes. Right. Mm. So that's what we want the students to achieve by the end of the that's course, right? At, at least here in, in right. the, on this template, that's what we want them to achieve. Mm -hmm. And we have absolutely no idea how to make this. Right. So we need to get some clues in uh, what to do. So first of all, uh, in a class we have, and, and every teacher knows pretty much what is the content. They're experts on this. Mm -hmm. So um, we have what we call the substance of the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here this, represent, this is the substance. Now, the substance has to be digested. And right. For that, we need to create some flow. And what better to... We need water. All right, okay. to create the flow. So we're just gonna add this here and see what this does. So as a teacher, we kind of like thinking about the story mm -hmm. that get next to it. 
and that's how we kind of create this flow. Now, this takes some time, so right, we're just yeah. gonna like we did this already a little bit before, and we have a character from what we before had uh, called the Forge. Mm -hmm. This is this distant organization that gives us some clues. So what we got here is um, well the same thing as the substance and the flow. Mm -hmm. So it's already created into a story, and if we think about the intended learning outcomes, we do see there is a kind of a similarity in shape. Right. right? Yeah. All right. Now we get other elements from, or we design that character that's going to nudge the participant. So what do we have here? Um, some ingredients. Right, that we're going to add to these. Oh, very good. Right. So you already uh, understand what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So let's go about that. Right, I'll take care of this. Okay. And maybe you do this one. All right. Mm -hmm. Right, um, so I think for every teacher, um, they just um, going to adapt, um, you know, the whatever learning outcomes they want um, right. according to what materials they have, right? Right. So you mm -hmm. have to be a little bit inventive. Right. Yeah. Um, and the idea is that we, this would be the students now doing this. Mm -hmm. So we give these ingredients and the students kind of understand what they need to do. Right. Now, yeah. Some might kind of like not understand it fully or some will be very creative. Mm -hmm. um, so there we go. So right. I'm just going to take this one aside now for right. a second. And if you don't mind, I will take this sure, one aside okay. too. And we have now um, a character, which is the hands-on character. And mm -hmm. that's the lecturer. Right. And this lecturer is going to come in and say, well, now we're going to teach you how to actually do this. You did this all right. You put right. things together, ingredients together. But we're going to split this up into different parts. Okay. So if you can help me a little bit with this. Sure. Um, they don't have to be the same size, no, right? No, no, no. Let's make it like four sizes. of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Four or five. Um, so this would be the um, intended learning outcomes, which mm -hmm. are session specific. Right. All right. Good. So I'm going to be a bit hands on. It's going to be a right, little bit dirty, yeah. if you don't mind helping me out a little bit. There we go. All right. So now these these intended learning out, uh, learning outcomes um, are split up mm -hmm. from what we had first in course intended learning outcomes right. to um, specific session intended learning outcomes. All right. Now we have to have assessment tasks. Okay, all right. We, right. Basically, we help the students in bringing things about. And um, what condiments would you think would be um, I've been thinking about um, walnuts and maybe raisins, I think. So, mm -hmm. for one, we were going to use uh, walnuts. Mm -hmm. There might be some raisins. I'm right, thinking yeah. of perhaps some garlic. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then there's some peppers. Mm -hmm. All right. And some of these hazelnuts. Right. There you go. Okay. So, now we would process this. We're doing this in class. Right. And then what we want to achieve is assurance of learning. Right. right. So once everything's processed, we're going to put it in the oven and then we're going to try it out. Right. All right. And if the students did well, then we know that they have attained learning. Right, right. Yeah. And eventually we'll probably have something that after this that would probably look like this. This right? is from the previous student. So I invite uh -huh. you to try one. All right. <laughs> then you just take one. Sure. Um, OK. Uh, All right. All right. Let's see. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so thank you, Tom. Thank you for sharing your ideas today. And I'm sure that all the teachers have um, will benefit from um, this interview today. And I'm looking forward to, you know, your new projects with um, the... Innovative Learning Hub. All right. That's <laughs> All right. It. Thank, Thank you, you. Nabila. Bye. You. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>